Why are the Israeli Defense Forces attacking motorcycle riders? What could possibly cause the Israeli army to go after those who were born to be wild? Or is there some important information that some journalists are neglecting to put in their headlines? I'm Yardine Frankel with Honest Reporting. The IDF has killed a global jihad-affiliated terrorist in the Gaza Strip. His name was Hitam Zaid Ibrahim Massal, and he specialized in making rockets and explosive devices and selling them to terrorist organizations. Now, he was involved with Hamas, but he left them because they were too moderate for him. Instead, he linked up with the Shura Council of the Mujahideen, and he was involved in extensive terror attacks against Israeli civilians, including the recent rocket attack on the Israeli city of Eilat. The Shura Council of the Mujahideen released a statement upon his death. Here, here's what they said. He stepped everywhere there is jihad wanting to die. So may Allah have mercy on you, Abu Zaid. The enemy sites miss you. You didn't hesitate for one day to pound them with rockets. Now, what sort of words do you think the media should use to describe such a person? Did they say terrorist, arch-terrorist killed by the IDF? No. Here are a couple examples. Airstrike on Gaza kills motorcyclist. Israeli airstrike kills Gaza motorcyclist. Motorcyclist killed in first Israeli strike on Gaza since November truce. Do you really think motorcyclist was the most important part of his resume? Does that accurately describe this man? We must demand that the media use consistent and accurate terminology. Join the fight for Israel to get fair treatment in the media. Go to the Honest Reporting website and join the team that's working to make a difference. This is Yardine Frankel with Honest Reporting.